Foley Accelerated Chemistry students. This is Ms. Krista Foley, and this is your Chapter 13, Section 4 Notes, All Over Changes of State. So let's first talk about sublimations. The change of a substance from a solid to a vapor without passing through the liquid state is called sublimation. Sublimation can occur because solids, like liquids, have a vapor pressure. And sublimation occurs in solids with vapor pressures that exceed atmospheric pressure or at or near room temperature. So remember, from a solid going to a vapor is called sublimation, and the opposite of that is called deposition. The relationships among the solid, liquid, and vapor phases of a substance in a sealed container can be represented in a single graph. This graph is called a phase diagram. A phase diagram gives, gives the conditions of temperature and pressure at which sub, a substance exists as a solid, liquid, or gas. So the conditions of pressure and temperature at which two phases exhibit an equilibrium are indicated on the phase diagram by a line separating the phases. So if we look at the phase diagram of water to the right, we can see the relationship among pressure, temperature, and the physical states of water. So we can see at low temperatures and low pressures that we have a solid. At middle temperatures and middle pressures, we have a liquid, and at high temperatures, low pressures, we have vapors. So in each of the curved regions of the phase diagram, water is in a single phase. So you can see the purple side is where it's always a solid, the greenish side is where it's always a liquid, and the pinkish side is where it's always a vapor. The curved line that separates water vapors phase from its liquid phase is describes the equilibrium conditions for liquid and vapor. The other two lines describe conditions for equilibrium between liquid water and ice and between water vapor and ice. The point at the diagram which all three lines meet is called the triple point. The triple point describes the only set of conditions at which all three phases can exist in equilibrium with one another. By referring to the phase diagram of water, we can determine what happens if you melt ice or boil water at pressures less than 101.3 kPa. And remember, that is our standard pressure conditions. A decrease in pressure lowers the boiling point and raises the melting point. An increase in pressure will raise the boiling point and lower the melting point. Below the triple point, the vapor and liquid cannot exist in equilibrium. Increasing the pressure won't change the vapor to a liquid. The solid and vapor are in equilibrium at temperatures below 0 0.016 degrees Celsius. With an increase in pressure, the vapor begins to behave more like a solid. And that is it for our chapter 13, section four notes. And as always, all the information on these Google slides has been acquired and adapted from Pearson Chemistry's 2012 edition textbook resources, CD, and PearsonChem.com. Thank you so much and have a good night.